Roger and um, a video artist from America called Will Lewis. I wrote the text, Roger wrote the sound, and Will did the images and uh, the programming of the words and images. Uh, Motions is an interactive multimedia web piece, and it's really designed as a multimedia book. So normally you would be interacting with it um, either on your computer or your iPad, and going at your own pace. Um, I'm going to be driving it so you don't have to sort of go at my pace, and I won't, you won't have time to read everything. Don't get frustrated, just don't, uh, don't try and read everything, just get an impression of the piece. And uh, it is on the web, so you can play with it afterwards if you want to. I should say that it's a variable text, so whatever comes out this time, the text and images, um, and also the way that the sound is layered will be different each time that you um, interact with it. Some things are um, always more or less the same, always sequential, but a lot of things are very different. Motions is about human trafficking and contemporary slavery, which is a, a topic that interests me a great deal. And the text and image are part documentary, part narrative, and part poem. Okay, so I'm going to drive this now. It lasts about 13 to 14 minutes.
ships, dead words in containers. was purely rhetorical.
um, some of which will be pre-recorded. Um, we normally do this, um, when we do it in the big auditorium, we do it with two speakers at the front and two at the back. So um, the uh, voices are quite localised at different points. Um, but today, um, that's very complex to do that, so today we're doing it in stereo with um, live speaker. Um, Disappearing is a collaboration between me, uh, Roger, and uh, Greg White, um, who is a sound designer and a composer. And um, what happened was that I wrote the text, uh, then Roger did all sorts of things, cutting it up and collaging it in various ways. Um, and then um, he also added sounds and music. And then Greg, on top of that, added some sonic transformations of the voice. You'll hear that there are these kind of sonic transformations with a lot of the semantic content uh, taken out of them. Um, there are lots of references in the uh, piece. I won't sort of go into them all, um, uh, because it'd be uh, like Frank O'Hara once said, I don't want to, um, I don't want to kill a poem by talking about it. So um, I, I don't want to do the same thing. But um, there are a lot of references to various forms of social repression, uh, particularly in Romania, uh, which we've just been visiting before I wrote this. Um, there's also uh, references to the disappeared in Chile and Argentina, um, which I see as very uh, sort of central to the piece. And there's a, an, a quotation from Epicurus, which um, is um, death, which is the most awful of evils. Uh, it begins as death, the most awful of evils. I won't again tell you um, exactly what that is, but I play with that quite a bit during um, the piece. Um, voices. He won't listen to them. Take her flowers. She likes flowers. He will arrange them for her, though he is not skilled at arrangements. Death, the most awful of evils, is nothing to us. The most awful of evils, nothing to us. Death, awful, evil, nothing. But when we exist, there is no death. And when there is death, we do not exist. Full of, he alive buried the body of, he alive buried the arm of, he alive buried the breath of. Nothing, 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 nothing. When they turn her, she will see the flowers, different ones on each side. He will make her soup. She likes soup. He will cook mushroom and chicken soup. Pour off the juice so it's easy to swallow. He will sit close by so she can see him from her bed without moving. We'll ask her to smile and she will smile for him. She will ask him to turn on the radio so she can hear music, maybe Vivaldi or Mozart. Deafness brings polyrhythmicity, polyethnic trails of listening. When we exist, there is no depth, and when there is depth, we do not exist. Who believes we can rewrite extinction, the feel-good fictions of good and evil? Tom man, victim of a sacrifice. Tom man, mistaken for a murder victim, death to our digging. Again, for a while. 
But he doesn't like to hear her cry out when she's turned. He'll go upstairs each day when it's time for the turning. Shut the door. Lie down. Close his eyes. She undresses but finds their flesh has fled, their heaviness thrown alive in the ocean. What can detain us? No more disappeared, only dead people. No more disappeared, no prosecutions. The Chilean women of Kalama thrash through the sands, hunting their brothers, sons, husbands. The mothers of the Plaza de Mayo, white headscarves embroidered, cover their heads with the names of the murdered. What makes you say that? Evacuation. Die. What makes you think that? I just know I'm dying. The Atacama Desert. Buried the body of. Dinosaur. Burned the body of. Broken the body of. grave of. the mummified Mayan. Autopsy. Traces of bone the dissolved in solution. The painted walls of Suchavita Monastery. A ladder orchestrating heaven. Sinners falling through the rungs into the arms of grinning devils. Sins. 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 Shooting across nations. nations. Unequal temperament. The right, the right to intervene. intervene. The pulse of state sovereignty. Asia is a construct. Women with shovels, plastic bags full of bones. The the DNA test the was resist. There is no space and where we keep on resisting. The 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 Romanian Jews a transferred to against the then to camps in Transnistria. A one way disease, an assortment of one drop blood rule. Death, the most awful of visuals. Is this nothing to us? Rounded up and raped. A war zone has suddenly disappeared. Bodies on the road. No more disappearing. A train no station. Prosecutions. You're dead, she said, until you wake up. The charge you once were dismembered as wailing. When his bones were returned, all she could do was kiss his remains, reassemble her mourning. Crushed bones, a mass grave, flowers thrown in the air. Orwa Mirabia, Syrian filmmaker, arrested by government agents, August 23rd, 2012.
we've just got one more piece to go. I just, um, I wrote a piece called The Other Room, and so I thought I should read it on this um, um, occasion. I also wrote one called The Wrong Tom Jenks. Um, so, uh, um, and so if you forgive me, I'll just read these two poems. I have to say that The Other Room, the content of the poem doesn't have much to do with The Other Room, and I'm just saying that because it does say something about a pedophile. <laughs> okay. Um, the other room. I have two keys, she said, that match Murakami's two moons. Four hands move over the piano keys, the players deftly swapping places on the makeshift bench. The poet and the critic trade t-shirts in the other room, unlocked, flung windows, wayward spill. The dark of crying soothes the ears of the pedophile, sever the baby from its twin. Each moon colliding with the other, leaving one. An unpaired earring hangs a problem on the crime, the code, the scene. The keys could all be replicas. The kidnapped gives me chills. The world of genres is the world of fools. And this one, um, again, doesn't really have much to do with Tom, but what happened was that I looked at him, I Googled him, and I kept getting um, you know, people who had absolutely nothing to do with him. And, uh, was a businessman, and I was thinking, I'm sure it's not Tom. Uh, so yeah, that's this was. the first time I've learned it's called the wrong Tom Jenks. I looked him up on the internet, but it's the wrong Tom Jenks. History's bound together the punch balls of high jinx. It repeats as it permutes, but it also rejects the past. Welcome to the mix and match of discombobulated planes. To cross is not only to traverse, to cross means also to mix up. Organisms tear apart the natures they construct. Earthworms are proto-alchemists, they switch the soil to gold, a jumble, a mosaic, a mix-up, a montage. Conversations build a cartography that boasts an alien brand of art. Nations bounce back from combat into an adaptive ache. Agendas pulse erratically, expectation swings its chronic beat. She amputates accusations by screwing on prosthetic myths. He felt attracted by her one day and repulsed by her the next. Variants of deviations that play back tricks on genes. Revamping your story is unwise, but it doesn't mean certain guilt. Atrites dissolves as treaties. Fragments disarm her fists. the way that people situate themselves with regard to experiment, uh, experimental posts has a lot to do with what they think about metaphor or whether they want to get rid of metaphor or displace it in some way. So um, the, the first section of this, it's in three sections, and the first section I arrived at through cutting and pasting lots of material about metaphor from the internet, um, including some very uh, weird uh, metaphors that um, some students had come up with. Um, and the second and third pieces are just much more, uh, just much freer, but they do include quite a lot of metaphors. Uh, Roger is going to engage in a sonic dialogue with me um, through this. Um, I don't know what he's going to do. He's um, improvising. I don't know roughly what he's going to do, but not absolutely. Um, and you'll hear that he uses both sounds and words. A lot of the sounds that he uses are actually derived from words, even though maybe you can't really tell that in some cases. Metaphors are comparisons between two dissimilar things. Or we think metaphorically, whether we're aware of it or not. Or where would I find a sea filled not with water, but with grief? The war against metaphor creates an us and them frame. The ubiquity of metaphor in language has been established in a number of corpus studies, and the role it plays in human reasoning has been confirmed in psychological experiments. Use a metaphor on your desktop computer or tablet device. This metaphor is performative. It enacts the undoing of his own gender. By the end of the course, you will have learned the role of metaphor in understanding the unconscious mind. 
used a metaphor that made us cringe, licking the other side of the stamp. I want to argue against metaphor, against substituting one link for another to enrich or complicate our understanding. Why is it we say what something is by calling it something else? Use all metaphor as generalized sparing. Otherwise you will make trouble for yourself. Those who foolishly sought power by riding the back of a tiger ended up inside. During the treatment of violent individuals, the authors noticed that physical assaults were often preceded by an onslaught of metaphors. Let me finish my way to metaphorize the actual experience of losing any or all of your senses. The metaphors for talking about sex in the US all come from baseball. Let's talk about pizza instead. Music is metaphor. A powerful tool in leadership development. It hurt the way your tongue hurts after you accidentally staple it to the wall. She grew on him like she was a colony of E. coli and he was room temperature British beef. I think that's your opinion, of course. But these are metaphors and, in the end, are likely to be misleading. Answers rarely fit with their questions. It was years since she'd wept. It was inexplicable. It's an odd sentence that doesn't commune with its own strangeness. The moon outsmarts every poem about it. I'm fired up here, said as the house burned down brightly. Her ideal script was never the one she composed. She wrinkles her CV. It no longer fits. It was years since he died. The crime scene was yellowing. Facts lock in to the fictions we hang them by. I don't know whether I want to shape my life into bits or grip it like a handrail. The lightest wind can cause the ball to swerve. It's a crossing of bumps and abrasions, missed stations and barred gates. Every day I slip on the drop peelings of somebody else's intent. The ground my desire was never conceived. Of all the quests just ate, the black box is slowly liquidating. The ocean sucks in its own depths. I watch the news and didn't absorb the details. I surf by floating on my back. They suggested I write down my objectives as if I knew what they were. If I knew, I wouldn't need to write them down, I said. There's no such thing as a goal, just where this heresy defines the root. I'm an experimental poet, she said, hoping cartographically that might fit. The moon outsmarts every poem about it, a compass pins words west and east. He's standing behind her, mapping what she writes, while the rhythm knots are hinged in it. Poetry, metaphor is everything. She wondered if she believed what she proposed. The rain soars the hapless day in half, but the bark will keep the soil moist. Is it so new to them they won't understand, or have they heard it all before? No self-help book ever worked it out. Her colleagues will never tell her what they really think. Men in her life, alas. <laughs> And see the sink in the morning, possums pounding on the roof. Being helpless is his strategy. The person is like a toothache while an earthquake sounds by. You've never experienced genocide, she said, taking an unanswerable stance. Nobody noticed I was irate. It's a part of me that expects other people to read my feelings, while the other me knows they can't. Death is a frame, and you like the frame, but not the object of embrace. You hand the clock in cockeyed positions, you leave go whichever way it tilts. She said, forgive me, but I didn't know what to say because I hardly remembered the incident and there wasn't anything to forgive. She could be difficult in a thousand ways, but they never coincided with her own regrets. He's not sure why he loses his temper when he's always saying that he won't. Breathe deeply, create a pause, then think what you really want to say. Authenticity is the game plan. The rules seem suddenly inchoate. She confessed, but I wasn't convinced. They kept saying I was buying too much food, but then when I didn't, we nearly starved. That 
Hamilton beat their own, but in arm, repetition is sweet. Sometimes I think the speaker is hopeless as he exits to rapturous applause. There is always thunder in the basin, a bonfire in the midst of the field. Bask in the sun, celebrate, don't set fire to what you believe. Disdain will do the job as well as praise. Thank you very much.